We think about education very differently from any other program in the country. We think about education as a mix of hands-on, didactic or classroom education mixed with clinical experiences. So right now we're sitting in Baylor College of Medicine in what is the Orthotics and Prosthetics Laboratory. So we're located in Houston, Texas. Uh, Baylor's a pretty remarkable place. It's one of the academic institutions that sits in the middle of the largest medical center in the world, which is made up of dozens of different entities that provide healthcare at the, at the very highest level. This lab becomes your home for the first year of the program. So you'll spend between 35 and 40 hours a week here easily, every single week. And that doesn't mean that you're in the classroom the whole time. In fact, quite the opposite. You will have some classroom lectures, but at the same time that will be broken up with experiences where you're very hands-on, really integrated with, uh, with patient models that we bring in specifically to work with the students or in the manufacturing parts of the process. When a student comes into our program, they're going to be assigned a workbench. So on one side of the bench, they've got all of the hand tools that they would need to create the prostheses and orthoses. On the other side of the bench, they have their iPad and everything else that goes along with the curriculum. You know, we have a completely paperless curriculum. That's going to be their workstation for the first year of the program is here in the lab. Some of the stations that exist in the lab, there's areas for scanning, there's areas for gait analysis and walking, where they, the students might be working with somebody who's just learning to walk for the first time after they've provided a device that they made. Uh, there's a vacuum forming station, so after the mold's created and we have that three-dimensional representation of their limb, we may actually be pulling a prosthesis or orthosis out of a thermoplastic material to be able to create that device. We have a 3D printer. Um, and that's certainly a growing part of our, our profession where we'll be working with 3D printing as a different means of manufacturing some of these devices. There's other stations where they're going to be working closely with faculty just in the one-on-one -on -one teaching process, looking at how specific individuals present, looking at x-rays, or assembling different components and parts that will be used. They'll start the process by working with patients uh, here in the laboratory setting, and then they are required, as part of the curriculum, to manufacture that device from start to finish. So they'll start sometimes with modification of a plaster mold, a rigid mold that's been created, and other times they're going to use digital scanners to actually be able to create that image in a digital way and they'll modify that via the computer. But from there the process is similar. They're going to walk through the process of then utilizing those molds or those images to create new devices that will be then fit back on patients. So the lab is really designed to make that as efficient and as effective for students as possible. Students come in with a variety of different backgrounds, but once they come into the lab, everything is specifically about training them to be the best orthotist or prosthetist that they can be. 